Subscribe to Keto and Tea and hit that notification bell. Thank you. back to another episode of keto and tea i don't ask for much i simply ask for a thumbs up can you thumbs up the video come on in subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so every time i upload a video you can get the message or even when i go live you can also get that message too you know hey everyone happy tuesday y'all look i was stuck in the battle this morning Stay in bed, use PTO, or get out and come to work. Well, you see what one, I'm out here on the road going into work. But lately, y'all, this week on the road, it hasn't been as crowded as much. Have y'all noticed that? Even on the drive yesterday, have y'all noticed that the roadway's been kind of empty like? And I've been getting to work extremely early. Like, I've been getting to work like around... 7 30 because it's so empty but i'm not due there until 8 a.m but i have been a, even when me stopping at dunkin donuts i still get there at 7 30 from time to time so now what i do is like since i get there early you know i do like a couple of shorts and stuff while i'm sitting in the car before i go in do do me some shorts and stuff and add that so it works out i mean i use my time well Mm hmm so four o'clock that's probably when we're gonna do a little bit of celebrity news at four but when we doing these morning car rides we're gonna use this as our mind body and soul segments you know feeding our minds our bodies our hearts you know speaking about what's on your heart you know letting everything go so that's what i'll be doing with the eight o'clock car rides and then, like I said, for the 4 p.m. car rides, we be doing a little bit of celebrity news as I drive, just laugh and talk. You know, doing celebrity news my way. You know, nothing wrong with putting your own little twist on things. Because you don't want to be like everybody else. You want to have your own different style of how you do things. Like, even with these car rides, I do them my way. You know, I mean, I've seen people do them and be successful at them but i want to put my own little twist on my car rides and what we talk about in the morning so what i want to do is uh go back and shout out those content creators that's still out here you know putting in that work shout out to all the content creators that's been putting in that hard work keeping their candles afloat and just out here getting to the bag you know so shout out to y'all and shout out to the ones who are always under attack but they still come out and they still do them and they don't let nothing get to them some things do hurt and trigger people but shout out to the ones who still come out here and drop that content even though they are being attacked on a daily basis and you know people like truth hurts and flexi and money boy and and even people like logan all of them and can't handle the truth all of us we always you know go through something but everybody still always come out keep their content going because let's be honest y'all the devil is going to test you they going to the devil he's going to keep on doing things to see if you on that that righteous path that path you want to go down to better yourself and to better your channel so there's going to be things that's going to keep coming up that's going to test you and to trigger you into going back to that lower self part of you and you don't want to do that because that's going to give in to what they want 
So shout out to the people who continues to push forward even though they keep trying to be pulled backwards by negative energy and like I said keep doing y'all thing keep doing it because like I said I made that mistake shutting my channel down because it was too negative but like I said I was having negative thoughts so if I felt myself having negative thoughts I shut the channel down like I said I had a conversation went through some things like I said, YouTube is not going to be for that on my page. Yeah, I'm going to gossip. That's what I'm going to do on my page. Whether somebody likes it or not, I'm going to do gossip on my page because that's what I want to do. Now, I understand what gossip and everything like that comes along with some beef and some stuff like that. I understand that. But it won't be the beef whereas, um, you know, pulling up at people's houses, calling people jobs... Uh, calling child protective services on people um, putting out people addresses and phone numbers and all of that nonsense I'm not going to do that but when I come out and do my content my content is what? gossip, that's what I do that's what I do and it's a way you do things it, it don't have to be all negative it's a lot of uh, T channels like I could you know consider myself a T channel. So keto and tea. That's what I am, a tea channel. So when I'm coming out here and I'm sipping tea and I'm spilling tea with y'all, that's what we're going to do. Whether people like it or not. Now, I don't have to talk about the content creators in the mukbang beef sector. So because from what I'm being told, from what I heard, that this is the mukbang beef sector but from what i heard from the content creator you know who said you know they made it, it was just supposed to be about commentary on the mukbangers but i don't know how i went from the the commentary on the mukbangers to mukbang beef sector now i'm not a part of no beef sector and i don't do commentary like that on mukbangers matter of fact i think two muk I'm gonna say I did it on Be Love before, Fat Monkey before. Like I don't consider myself a mukbang tea reporter. I don't consider myself a mukbang tea reporter. I just don't. Probably back then, like when the content creators were doing it, when it was hot at the time to do it, they did it and they got a bag from doing it because back then it was hot. But right now, like doing tea on the mukbangers and stuff like that to me is going to be kind of boring because there's nothing popping off there's nothing happening to really report on so reporting on these, on these celebrities is something that you can grow your channel with and have commentary on on a regular you know so i don't consider myself to be a part of the mukbang tea sector and my tea channel yes so i still would have to use the hashtag tea sector and not put no mukbang in it because like I said I'm not a part of that so yeah T yeah so like I said I'm going to be doing commentary on other YouTubers but not on the mukbang beef sector do I want to hear about what's going on in the mukbang beef sector hell yeah I'm nosy yeah I want to know what's going on so from time to time I'm about like oh what happened what happened with this? Oh, what happened with that? I heard of this story. I heard of that story. But I'm not going to be all wrapped up in it and beefing with people that serve me no purpose, that mean me nothing in my life. Because this is not my everyday life. Like I said, I could simply shut this thing down and keep it moving. And I have. And I've done that. And, you know, for some people, they can shut their channels down for a day and go, you know, do what they do and then come back and say, hey, everything's better now. But everybody heal differently. Everybody take different paths. Everyone is on different journeys. And I respect that. You do you. I do me. And we can just, you know, stay on, you know, on your side. Stay on my side. You know? But, and I also wanted to talk about this comment that I received on my video from yesterday morning. Now, this was a troll account. But this troll account was claiming to be a sipper. And this troll, and I deleted the comment because 
I don't keep negative comments on my videos. So yeah, I deleted the comment because I found it quite negative. So, but this troll account was created and posed as a sipper. Now, I don't know what's going on, but the comment read like, you and your crew, and the name can't handle the truth, my sister, it named us as being, I want to say, see, I should go back and put that comment up in the video. But it went back and said something about we not to be trusted, we went against truth, and it said that we went against truth in the slippers, and that we not to be trusted, and that our channels wouldn't exist without the help of truth hurts. And it also went on to say that they swear on their children that they only speak to us when we come into the chats. It's be, you know, they want to be cordial and everything. But they see right through us. They don't trust us. And they, they, don't, they ain't pretty much, they, they pretty much were saying they ain't fucking with us. It's pretty much what sums it up. So I'm like, okay, who the hell are you? Two, why you had to come under a troll account to say that, say how you really feel. I mean, if people have issues and stuff like that, say how you really feel. I don't have no issues with that. I mean, it is what it is. But to go under a troll account to say that, and sometimes it be content creators that go under these troll accounts and, and say these things and pretend to be a separate or to pretend to be a truth hurts or a flexi or whatever because they want to keep the drama going between us because we resolve the issues behind the scenes but people wanted this a whole shit show out there for the public for all the y'all to see. See, that, let me let me break it down to y'all. People wanted a whole bit powwow with uh, 227 and the Sippers and State game. But what we did was we did everything behind the scenes and took care of everything that needed to be taken care of. Everything will have to be out there on the public for everybody to see, for everybody to do their commentary on. See, the problem is people wanted us to have this beef, this whole going thing with truth and us go at it and tear each other down and make things worse. Then after we go through our whole little fallout with her, then we are gaining the support of the mukbang beef sector and these content creators that's in it. We are gaining their support and they, you know, and oh, y'all did a good job. Y'all right. Y'all did this. But because we made amends when everything was falling apart, we made that amends right as it was happening. Now was, oh, y'all weak, y'all this, y'all some weak ass bitches, y'all this, y'all that. Um, I don't owe nobody anything, like I said. Took care of my business behind the scenes. I no longer have any beef with any content creator. Like I said, I took care of my stuff behind the scenes and I will always take care of my things behind the scenes. Nothing is for a show. This is not an act for me. This is me. Take it how I am or just walk away. That's just me. But like I said, but if we was out here going at it with Money Boy and Truth and them, oh, we'd have a lot of support. People would stand by us. Yeah, get them. Get them, girls. Tear them down. But since we went the other route, it's, oh, we don't fuck with y'all. We don't support y'all. Y'all wet. Y'all phony. Y'all this. Man, if y'all don't suck my ass with a straw. See, I'm backslide. Hmm, let me get back on track. But anyway, I'm going to always tell people how I fucking feel. I'm going to do that. And nobody's going to bully me into feeling a certain kind of way. Or tell me how I should handle a situation. I handle things the way Raina wants to handle them. I ain't going to handle situations the way I do. Legacy don't handle situations that I, the way I do. And neither does can handle the truth. We are all individuals. And we all deal with things on our own way. Now, I will agree, shut my channel down. Probably, it took a hit on my channel. But I'm back out here, I'm back working, and I know I got the power in me, the strength in me, to bring it back up and get it popping the way it needs to be. But I only want it popping in a positive way. I won't go back and forth in no drama. I'm not engaging in no beef. We, we, didn't, we, like, we didn't mix, bye, no hard feelings. And that goes for anybody. We didn't mix. Bye. No hard feelings. But I'm out here to do my content. 
and then make my channel pleasing to me. And the subscribers I gain is going to be the ones that's, that's attracted, attracted to the way I do things. So, with that being said, this video was getting super long. It's almost at the 15 minute mark, y'all. So, I'm going to go on and end this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notification bell so every time I upload a video, you can get the message. You can even get the message when I do a live stream, y'all. So, I just wanted to come on and vent to y'all for a little bit. Chit chat. And I'm out of here, y'all. Drop that in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything. Y'all have a good one. Bye.